going to do a UE uh, Ash. There's a hole there that gave us a very bizarre look on the way through. Is that the silver? I think it might be in the second row. Silver VE Calais? I think it might be something like a Calais sedan or something. Yeah, I, I checked as I drove past because he was looking at us funny. The car in question is stuck ahead at the lights, and while there's not much to go on, turning left. Officers Ash South and Stu Brewer decide to take a look. And left again. The driver is clearly not aware of the cop car behind him, but all of a sudden, things change. We have any bait, I'd suggest. He's going down a dead end street. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's gone down a dead end street. Oh, yeah. It was supposed to be a routine check, but nothing will stop this guy doing a run. As he flees, the driver nudges another unmarked police car, then disappears. Nah, didn't say after that. Give it away. 618, just letting you know, we've just had a 2006 Holden Calais sedan uh, vicinity of take off on us, uh, evade us on street in the uh, industrial area there, bearing Red Joe. Eight. New pursuit. Roger that. Possibly southbound. Uh, lost him in the industrial area. While the driver might think he's got away with it, Ash South and Stu Brewer know who the car belongs to. So we're now on our way to an address in which is the address of the registered owner of the Commodore that uh, evaded us earlier on. Uh, we're going to see if we can uh, speak to the the owner who is a female so we're pretty confident that it wasn't her driving however being the registered owner of the vehicle it is her responsibility to indicate to us who was driving her vehicle at that time we're in the right place right. how are you he's gone down a dead end street oh, yeah. police want to talk to the owner of this car after it took off from them how are you Hello. Do you know what's your relationship with her? She's my daughter. Okay. Okay, guys, what's happened? Well, whoever's driving that car today, and I suspect your daughter was one in the passenger seat, because it's a female in the passenger seat, yeah. has taken off from us, hasn't failed to stop, and has actually rammed our other police car. And what's going what's to happen from here is can make a smart decision, tell us who was driving the car today when it happened, or she gets in the board. Got a mobile phone number for it. And rest assured, we're, we're coming for it. It's not going to go away. While there's no sign of the car, the woman's able to tell Ash South and Stu Brewer the first name of the man who was behind the wheel. What we'll do now is uh, we'll head back to the station and uh, do some more checks with uh, some of the names that the young lady's mother gave us and I'll try to make a phone call to the young lady herself and uh, see if she's prepared to give up the game and let us know who it was that uh, endangered her life, endangered our life and endangered his own life. Six days later, Stu returns with Senior Constable Brent Thickens. And it's this one here and, and the we'll... car's there. Looks like the car is there. That's a good start. Hopefully we'll speak to the owner and she'll give us a statement and uh, we've got a name of a person who was driving the car last week. What we want to do is get a statement and uh, and lock him in, and then we'll see if we can go around and speak to him at some point. The car owner's mother takes them to the Holden, where everything points to a cover-up. Yeah, this is it, mate. They've done their best to get the maroon paint off. So yeah. that's been punched out. <coughs> yeah, the wheels are exactly the same. Yeah, and the plates are different. So we're here to talk to you about uh, the incident last week when this car hit our police car. Under the Road Safety Act, you have certain obligations, all right, to tell us who was driving the car if it wasn't you at the time, all right? I know this is hard for you. 
But let's get this straight. Your idiot friend rammed my police car and put me in danger of being injured. Do you really think that your tears mean anything to me at the moment? You don't need to wear this. Oh, we know it wasn't you driving. All right. I don't know the last name, I just know the first name. Honestly. He's put you in danger that day. He's put a few other people in danger and, he's, and he could have written your car off. So I don't know what sort of, how good a friend he is to you, but by you sticking up for him like that, I don't know what you're bothering for. Do you want to lose your license, mandatory two year loss of license? You don't deserve to cop that. Someone else was driving that car that day and you know who it is. So you need to tell us who it is and we can deal with them. <laughs> Police are trying to establish who was driving this woman's car when it took off from them. I can I, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you. You're, you're nearly 21 years of age, alright? It's your car, you have responsibilities, you're an adult. It's time to behave like one. I know, I know. Alright? You don't go ramming police cars and have us go, oh, she's crying, we're going to leave. It's not going to happen. I'm going to go organise the paper. <laughs> you don't understand! What's, what's there to not understand? Explain it to us. You know, so why am I... You, you have to, listen, you have to because you're the owner of the car. Do you want to lose your license for two years? Do you want to see your car go on the back of a truck and possibly be gone for six or nine months? Is he that good a friend that you're prepared to, to lose all that for? Finally, she fesses up. Armed with that information, police track him down, but not before he does several other runners. Yeah, he has tied up a lot of time and resources. We've had to make several lines of inquiry to ascertain exactly who it was. We're fortunate that uh, there were very positive IDs on each occasion. We knew we had our man. We knew which person was responsible for each one. Uh, and it was only ever a matter of time before we were going to catch up with him. Uh, and as it's turned out, you know, you can run from us, but you can't hide.